okay now move on to the next program design and implement an asynchronous counter using decade counter ic to count up from 0 to n the n value should be less than or equal to 9 okay this decade counter can be used to demonstrate seven segment display the ic number for seven segment display is 7447 okay now what do you mean by decade counter Decade counter is nothing but asynchronous counter. What is asynchronous counter? Asynchronous counter is a counter in which the clock signal is connected to the clock input of only first stage of flip-flop. The clock input of the second stage flip-flop is triggered by the output of first stage flip-flop and so on. Okay, this introduces a generated propagation delay and time through a flip-flop. Okay, now asynchronous counter is nothing but the second flip-flop is triggered by using the first flip-flop output. It is called asynchronous. The synchronous is all the flip-flops are triggered simultaneously then applying a clock for all the flip-flops same time. A transition of input clock pulse and a transition of the output of the flip-flop can never occur exactly at the same time. Therefore, the two flip-flops are never simultaneously triggered which results in asynchronous counter operation. You have to remember, two flip-flops are never simultaneously triggered which results in asynchronous counter operation. Then we are move on to what is the asynchronous counter for the decade counter. As the name indicates decade, decade is nothing but 10. For to get decade counter, I want to get count from 0 to 9. Then how to write a truth table for 0 to 9? See the truth table, then I have a 4 pin, a 4 flip flop it required to represent the 10 is 1010. Each bit is 1 flip flop. Then the 4 bit, then 4 flip flop to be required. The 4 flip flops are A, B, C, D. Q, A, Q, B, Q, C. QD. Each clock pulse, I can get the output as for the first clock pulse, then I got 0, 0 state. The next clock pulse, it should be 1. Next is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because of decade counter, no need to display 10. When the 10th clock pulse we are applying, it should be reset to what? 0, 0, 0. I don't want to display the 10 number 1010. 0, 0. It replaced what? 0, 0, 0. Because of that, it is called as a decade counter. The decade counter can be designed by using IC 7490. That is 92074 is the IC family. 90 for the decade count. It's be count from 9 to 0. Before we are verifying the true table, we can go through that IC configuration of 7490 the 7490 IC is so this one it is a 14 pin IC in 14 pin IC pin number 1 is the one, a clock again pin number 14 is also clock so the single IC you have a two clock pulse the first clock pulse is it is from the output of the flip flop I am connected for this the 14 pin is the external clock I am applying for these things you have to apply externally clock the pin number 1 the output of any one of the flip flop will be connected to for this one this 7490 is a combination of the two counter one is mod 2 counter the second one is mod 5 counter 5 into 2 10 the output of mod, mod 2 counter connected to the mod 5 counter this is the clock okay well mod 2 counter i am applying external clock is cp0 and mod 5 counter external clock is cp1 i have a these two mod 2 the mod 2 is i have only one flip flop output mod 5 i have a three flip flop output this is qa and this is b c and d i am connected to mod 5 counter then first this 7 7490 I have a two reset pin master reset pin MR1 
MR2 because of decayed counter MR1 and MR2 connected to ground normally for the decayed counter MR1 MR2 is connected to ground pin number 4 and pin number 13 is no connection no need to do any connection for these two pin number 5 is VCC pin number 10 is ground 5 VCC 10 is ground next we have a two more pin master set for ms1 master set for the two for the decade counter and any of your mod you are designing always ms1 and ms2 is connected to ground pin only the next how to give a in output where can i measure the output the output can be measured from these pin QA, QB, QC. Okay, this is for Q0, you can represent A. Next, Q2, this is for Q2, is for B. Q1, is Q, B, C, and D. Either you can write it Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, or you can write the flip flop name as A, B, C, D. You can measure the output in, in these four pin number 12, pin number 11, pin number 9, and pin number 8. Okay, now we can demonstrate decade counter using 7490 IC. The 7490 IC we can connect the pin number 5 as a VCC. First you have to connect. Pin number 10 is for the ground have to connect. Then as per a discussion, pin number 2 and 3 are the master reset. You connect it directly to the ground because I am designing decade counter. Then master set uh, 1 and 2 will be directly connected to ground also. Then we have a 4 output line from these things. Those 4 output line is QA, QB, QC, QD. From these 4 output line connect to the output port to check for these 2 table answer. Then I can apply the clock externally for the CP0. The CP0 is the pin number 14. This is the external clock. And I have a one more clock is CP1 that is connected for the first flip-flop output. Okay, this is QA is the first flip-flop output that is mod 2. Output of first flip-flop is QA. The QA is connected to triggering for the second counter. I we already told we have a two counter inside 7490. One is mod 2 counter. The second one is mod 5 counter. Mod 2 counter output is I have only one flip flop that is QA output line. That mod 2 counter will trigger the mod 5 counter giving the output of these two input for the clock pulse. Okay, this is for triggering for the mod 5 counter. Now we can verify the true table for this 0 to 9. Then after the 10th clock pulse, we will get reset to 0, 0. We can demonstrate by using a trainer kit. Okay, this is your trainer kit. For this trainer kit, we can take the IC 7490. We are putting in the slot for the 7490. This is a 14 pin IC. That 14 pin IC are connected and make it as a latch for that. And take a Y. First do the basic connection, take pin number 5, pin number 5 is connected to VCC, then you take pin number 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 is connected to ground as per the diagram. The next you do the basic connection I told, pin number 2, pin number 3 is the master reset, pin number 2 and 3 is connected to short and take one line and you should be connected to ground okay the next one is you can see the diagram according to that we gave the 6 and 7 that pin number 6 and 7 you take 6 and you take 7 as shorted together and that pin number 7 again you connect it to the ground pin okay now 6 and 7 is over 2 and 3 is over 5 is over 10 is over. Then I have to connect these output port QA, QB, QC, QD. Again you connect for the pin number 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The 12 is your QA. Connect it to any one of the output port QA. The next is pin number 9. 8, 9. That 9 is your QB. The next is uh, 8. That is QC. The next one is 11. This is your 11. You connect it to QD. After the connection is over. Okay, now we are connected for the clock. We have a 2 clock. 
the one is for the direct lock pin number 14 the second one is output of this will be connected to the pin number one okay now i am giving the external clock is pin number 14 the pin number 14 is I connected to the external clock pulse. The another clock pulse is the output of pin number 12. The pin number 12 is connected to pin number 1. Okay, now we can check the pin number 13 and pin number 4 is a no connection. And now connection is over. Then you can verify your true table. If you are power on, then we will reset to all the pin as 0, 0. Okay, now we can apply a clock. Initially, all the output should be 0, 0. If you apply a clock, the next clock cycle should be 1. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is QA, 0, 0, 0, 1. The next is 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. 0, 0, 1, 1, 3. 0, 1, 0, 0, 4. 0, 1, 0, 1, 5. 0, 1, 1, 0, 6. 0, 1, 1, 7. Next 10018. Okay, after that 910019. And again will be reset to next clock pass will be 00. You can check once again.